Here we go again, back with more Pro Cycling Mania Season 2015. It's first day, that means the fifth stage of Paris Nice, not a hill stage, ends uphill in Mende. Actually, it looks like a pretty steep hill compared to some of the other uh, climbs during the day, so should be pretty fun. Hopefully, we can pick John Thomas up and uh, keep him in the front of the race with the other hill specialists, and then he can uh, do his magic on Sunday, where we'll try and win it overall. But let's just get into the race and see what we can do. Okay, so after yesterday's stage win, I'll try and do the same tactic again, putting Roach and Yev on Thomas and uh, Hinao. Put the two Spanish guys together, not, they're not Spanish, both of them, but they speak Spanish, both of them. And the two British Isle guys, they at least both speak English, so they can work it with each other as well. And then we'll put them up in the front 20 or 30 riders of the peloton, just to ensure that nothing bad happened to them. Then we'll put the Next best riders look Rowe, Boswell and Standard. And then the fifth best hill rider we have here is Ben Swift. He'll be getting balls fast and hopefully he can be strong enough that he can put almost a bit of an effort in the last 20-30 kilometers of the race before we have to use Nieve and Roach. I'll try and, and save him now for a bit longer. I, th I feel like I used him too early yesterday and that cost him a lot of time in the overall standings. You can see he dropped from 2nd down to 5th overall, but he's still up there. And he's actually one of the top 5 favorites for the States. Jim Thomas is one of the top 10 favorites as well. So we have two good riders here who can both really make something happen today. And now, sitting here, Thomas is sitting here. They're actually both sitting pretty nicely right now. We have 5 men out in the front group, 1 man sitting in between. So no one I'm really worried about, I think. You can always just check out them. Now the closest one is like seven minutes behind uh, Gilbert or Sagan, who's in the lead right now. I think it's actually Sagan still. Yeah, Sagan, Gilbert, John Thomas, Rui Costa. You can see Sagan, 72 Mountain, 69. I have 79. Rui Costa has 78, so that's what I'm actually really worried about right now. And then of course, Dumoulin has great time towards that on top of Great Mountain as well. So he's also a threat overall, but I don't think he can catch one minute on me on the final time trial because I actually have a, a bit better monsters than him. Valverde is there, but I feel like there's too far behind that they're going to catch me unless I pull out an absolutely horrible final time trial. Completely forgot to get bottles, so we'll drop back and yeah, see you guys in the last 30 kilometers of the race. Okay, last 30 kilometers now. And the last climb was really tough, it's like eight, nine kilometers long and actually pretty steep all the way up. And at the final climb, you can see it's had a big black sector as well. So I'm seeing 21 to, to the green line. So I think the final climb is actually four or three kilometers long. That's actually a pretty long climb to finish off on. So this is kind of for the big climb as well. A lot of riders used a lot of energy on the last climb as well. Boswell managed to keep up, but didn't manage to get Ben Swift in the main group, which is a bit annoying because he could be really helpful right now. But it seems like a small group here is trying to get back. There are some pretty big names down here. Chavanel is here. A lot of BMC riders are here. So let's see if this group makes it back. It doesn't really matter too much to me. Right now Boswell is just going. He's, he's done for today, but he's still working for the team and that's pretty impressive. But I should probably just set him back since he doesn't seem to be that much helpful anymore. I think the group behind us is coming back anyway. They're really close and no one is working in front because all of the helpers have pretty much died out. Okay, Ketusha is working now. Quintana is working for Valverde. Fansumon probably for Villamo. Sagan doesn't really have anybody protecting him, which is good for me. Might mean he doesn't make it to the top this time with other riders. Oh, I don't think they're going to make it up. Uh, they'll, maybe they'll make it up on the next climb here because the groups will get together once the first group hit the climb. They'll slow down in pace, of course, and then they might just catch the bottom end of the group. Nope, the gap's actually widening right now. I think that's it for the group behind us. Even though BMC's working really hard, you can see now Boswell is done for today. So I think now is the time when I put these two guys out in front and we'll put Hinao on John Thomas. I think John Thomas is my best shot overall, which is why I'm using all of Mendy on him, even though Hinao has done really well so far this series. 
Michael Wright is working for Sagan, which Conti for Valverde. This guy's sitting really far up front right now. I can see people down here. Van den Broek, Meersmann, Tones, Demarki, De Klerk falling off here. You can see people are just slowly dropping off here. But it's Rogers pulling in front. John Thomas, nine kilometers to go. I think we can just put these two guys on like max effort. I don't care too much about how far back they finish overall. Trofimov pulling up Sagan, his final lead out man here. Ninety-nine here for Nieve and Roach. And of course they overtake me here at the end. But I, I think I'll drop these two guys back now. They've done their job, even though it was only like for two kilometers. They've been sitting in front protecting Hinao and Thomas from the wind. And now then Thomas I put him on the dot. And Hinao will act as a seal for as long as he possibly can. Maybe I should even go at 95. It's Roy Costa out in front. Visconti, Villamo. Sagana sitting here. Gilbert. Sagana Silbert first and second, of course, right now. Van Gardaan. It seems like Villamo and Roy Costa seems to be strongest right now. Spielak pulling up now. I've lost all my red bar already. But on the other hand, Silbert and Sagan seems to be really struggling as well. Roy Costa will probably overtake me with this pretty bad. I would have, would have liked to stay with uh, Roy Costa here for the end. Dumoulin. I think Villamo will take it. Or will Roy Costa overtake him? Roy Costa is strongest. He'll take it. Plus the bonus seconds at the end here. 20 seconds here. Spilak. Uran. Uh, and then there's a small little sky group here with Jovan Thomas. I lost about a minute. That's pretty poor performance here. Uh, I think there's... Is there more hits to, to go or is the next stage a flat stage? I can't exactly remember. But there's a long time trial and I'll need to get a lot of time now on the final stage to overtake Roy Costa and he seems to be my biggest trouble right now for the overall classification. Okay, this is, was the end of stage 5, first day stage. We ended up in 6th place and 7th place. Uh, lost 51 seconds to the front group with Roy Costa and Willemo. Drops us down uh, with Hinao to 8th place. John Thomas overtakes Sagan and Silbert was now in 3rd place still. Just behind two different riders right now. We have 40 seconds up to Rui Costa now, which is pretty poor. Considering we actually has pretty similar uh, mounts that's to John Thomas. So we'll have to work really hard on the final stage to overtake him. Tomorrow we have a flat stage uh, before a hill stage Saturday and of the deciding mountain time trial on Sunday. But yeah, that's it for this video. Later on today, I will upload the Tirreno Adatico video as well, which is of course the Italian stage race uh, also taking place right now. So yeah, that's it for today. See you guys next time. Goodbye.